Representative Kaha Conley, thank you. Yeah. Standing up for the, um, what's it again? Oh, the rule of law. Yes. We still have that, don't we? Oh, no, yeah. not really. Well, sort it's of. Kinda, right. More Representative Conley. I think it says a lot, tragically, about the Republican Party that has uh, not so subtly allowed a violent wing of its own establishment to, uh, to enter into the temple and to become part of the political environment. That is very dangerous. Um, by the way, so uh, Malcolm is on special assignment mm-hmm. somewhere else. Yes. And uh, so he will, t- he will not be jo- able to join us today, but after the holidays. But let me just protection. scare the out of you uh, in, it, his, in absentia for, okay. for Malcolm. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, he was Max Boot said, why do so many Republicans go along with extremism? And Malcolm just said, good job catching up, Max, but you're a year late. I've been shouting we're heading into a Republican insurgency on TV, radio, and podcast since November 6, mm-hmm. 2020. We can attest to that. Yes. He's the only guest I've ever had to turn my headphones down on for. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, he, I mean, he said, uh, I call this um, a designated Rittenhouse scenario, what someone was talking about on Twitter, where a group of armed vigilantes would start a fight, and then that one guy would open fire once attacked, and the rest could open fire in, quote, self-defense. I mean, it is really a terrifying Pandora's box that has been opened by this whole Rittenhouse thing, because you know people are saying that now. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. This is open season. Um he, somebody tweeted, remember when the Black Panthers started arming themselves and then white America collect, collectively sh- its diaper? Yep. Uh, that's when the NRA supported gun control and the police became militarized. And Malcolm just said, just stop. I don't want to hear any more people saying now we must arm ourselves with guns against vigilantes. You don't need guns to vote. 34% of Democrats didn't vote in Virginia. We'll win elections to change the laws and dump bad judges and outlaw open carry. Um, yeah, I, I hesitate to tell people, yeah, arm yourself and go into, a, you know, a dangerous situation like Kyle Rittenhouse did, and let's see what happens, right? I mean, it's... Be- it, it, would, it would go bad very, very, very fast, right. and that's, that's, the, that's the problem with our laws right now, but I, yeah. I, I, I get the Open carry's ridiculous. Being mm-hmm. able to hit protesters with your car is ridiculous if you think they're in their, your way. These are human beings. That's right. It's all about encouraging violence and encouraging the ability to threaten other people, like, yeah. non-verbally. Carrying a gun is a threat. Yes, yes. I, I just, the whole Rittenhouse thing, I mean, the more, you know, it's like the two uh, victims that are dead now don't get to defend themselves. And yeah, they appear to have troubled histories, but you know, it's like, that's not our law that you yeah. get to, you know, could be judge, jury, and executioner in the street because, you know, and honestly, the whole like, oh, they were armed. They were not armed. They had a plastic bag and a skateboard, right? And it, it's, I mean, the one... um I believe it was Huber's father said, apparently there was a domestic violence thing and he said it was a particularly a fight with his brother mm-hmm. that yeah. got his whole family involved or whatever but you know that that and again anyway he it's, yes they apparently both had some trouble you know but but again who doesn't have some trouble in their family it's people that have had you know some sort of issues with something right well, also the punishment for those crimes are not execution right right, right. they are not the death penalty without a, a judge or a jury correct so it's yeah anyway all right um oh heaven hill brands mm-hmm. uh the marketer of spirits has taken to Twitter to express its disapproval of consumers celebrating the not guilty verdict in the case of Kyle Rittenhouse. They said, we have been disheartened to learn that some individuals and businesses have been using our Rittenhouse straight rye whiskey to celebrate the Kyle Rittenhouse case verdict despite the profound loss of life from these events. Um, Thank you. If I drank rye like Kay Rooney, my 1980s New York landlord, I would buy this just because of that. you missed the most important part. She of that drank story. rye at eleven, or no, actually nine in the morning. And didn't she it's invite important. you up for a glass yes. of rye? When I come came back from my morning show on Hot ninety seven, everybody. Yep. Yeah, you know, about ten eleven in the morning. Come on in for a glass of rye. You missed a little tidbit in that story, by the mm-hmm. way. What did I miss? They also make Dubonnet. <gasps> oh, Dubonnet. The Queen's my favorite. My sister <laughs> used to drink that. Yes, and the Queen. <laughs> Dubonnet. There's not enough Dubonnet in the world to endure Donald Trump. Bring me some more. Um, oh, I did this. Uh, I did this one. Wait a minute for the uh, P- Patreon show, but I do feel the need before the holidays. Uh oh, you're giving it away for free. December seventh, the day which shall live in infamy, will be my two years. No hooch. Well, you know, I only ever drank wine. I didn't actually ever drink wine, wine. mom's.